This is your wake up call. Capsize Live is videotaping this performance. And it's only performance art if you're naked. Thank you. Fuck yeah! If you often dream about getting wet, then uh, maybe you have a gitchigumi mindset. We do not die. Let's think about some stuff we can smash. Oh yeah, girl. How can I love them? Them are nuts! Would you guys shut up? I'm trying to talk here. Local homegrown band playing some local homegrown music just for you. They were selling a ranch and they he took me out to this barn. Give me the guns, yeah, 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 yeah. Camouflage yarmulkes dominate the scene. When I go to bed at night, the yarmulkes I dream. The, 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 we we play the tuba and the banjo. Yeah, right. Does they, it they, look we like we're weird? <laughs> we don't, like we don't have a drummer or a guitar player. You know? But if it runs, it's good enough for me. Scott H. Byerman, you're watching Capsize. Wait until we 
Mustache hair to our fucking ass hair, we would be fucking satisfied with this fucking shit. Follow me. Okay. This one. This one goes out to Dave from Capsize. He works too hard, doesn't make enough money, and nobody sucks his dick enough. I've noticed that about him. He's a cool guy, he's hardworking, responsible, admirable, respectable, and he's not getting his dick sucked 24 hours a day. So this one's for Dave from Capsize. I would like for Capsize to take my dick up their ass. Tape my dick to their asshole.
Hey, this is Dave. You're watching Capsize. I see a tall blue midget somewhere. More likely I hear one. This is an uh, independent music video program and you are tuned in. Maybe on the internet, maybe on television, maybe at home, maybe in the bathroom. I don't care what you do. I don't look. I don't judge. I just want you to watch. And I am watching you. Watch me on Capsize. Uh, you're hearing tall blue midget and that is Neil. Um, he's also known as Fido McCoke Fiend. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the love on MySpace, and thanks for tuning in to anything we have out here on Capsize on the Internet and anywhere else. You too. Send us an email. Rawtime at gmail.com. Or check out the MySpace. MySpace.com slash Capsize. MySpace.com slash Rawtime. Okay, I'm going to go now.
Hey y'all, this is Capsize. Uh, this is Dave here with a good old friend of mine, Mike Boudreau. What's up? Not much, man. How you doing? I am doing good. Surfing the uh, Red River area this evening, trying to see as much music as I possibly can. And uh, I bumped into some guys here that I knew. Tell me about your big show here tonight, The Red-Eyed Fly. Man, well, what ended up being, it ended up being two shows that turned into one. That's why we have seven bands of the bill. That's why we started at 7 o'clock. It was originally supposed to be a late show, and then I was going to find some early bands. What ended up happening is the Hanks and Million Billion called me up saying they needed a show, and I was like, well, maybe I'll do an early show and a late show. Ah, screw it. I'll just put them all seven on the same bill, and let's see what happens. So, yeah, so we have a, quite a bit of mixture of music tonight. You know, you got Red Team Go, which is old school punk. You got Metal from Exit the Sun and Peyton Jen. You've got, you know, some new school like Sailor the Angels, which has old school members of Riddling Kids and Rubberhead. Then you got the Hanks, which is one of the best new touring bands in the nation right now. Million Billion, great new band also. And then uh, we had a band called Elm, a kid band from Bastrop, opened it up tonight. So yeah, it was really cool. That's very cool, man. A bunch of great music coming together and a lot of good people coming out to support it the way to do And this is what you do. I saw the singer of the band had a Rubberhead shirt on. You ever heard of them? No. <laughs> um, yes, no. Never heard of those guys. Not a word. So this is uh, what you spend a lot of time doing pretty much is booking bands these days, and that's uh, keeping you happy? That's keeping me busy. Uh, I, I definitely would like to see the scene doing a little bit better, but uh, you know what? It, 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 there's there's a feeling like it's getting ready to kickstart again. Like, you know, when you and I were growing, coming up, you know, in the late 80s, there's a feeling there was going to be some bands really kicking in there and doing it. Same thing happened in the late 90s with Unloco and Riddling Kids and Dynamite Boy. And all of a sudden, boom, here they came. And, you know, things go in cycles, you know. The big boys were the big things back in the early 80s, and then it kind of died for a while. You know, and it just kind of keeps doing that, so, you know. And I went out and saw uh, Chris Gates in Gatesville at the back room tonight, actually. So it all comes full circle, man. I think that uh, the town has been just pumping with entertainment for years. It's a matter of us lackadaisical folks like you sitting at home, getting off your ass and going to see a band it helps the thing go around, you know? I agree with that, and I also think that it's the bands needing to get that hustle on back. I mean, you and I, we remember bands putting the big problem back like in the early 90s where bands posting flyers all over each other's flyers you know now it's hard to find a flyer out because everybody thinks it's my space or this or that and you know as well as I do it's a culmination of everything you know if you use one thing too much it's a crutch not a tool so like a ticket or something exactly exactly but you know what for that time it works you know a colored ticket exactly why does it all got to be about colors I'm blue man I've got the blue Blue ticket. We had 35 of them. Oh, you were with A to Z. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very cool, man. Well, uh, so I pulled out some old video from the back room a while back. Had some some young cat. He's real skinny and he is dressed like Flavor Flav with a big old clock around. You ever seen that stuff? No, no. I think so. It was on a reel with some rubberhead footage. I don't know. It was some acoustic dig song too. I don't know what it was, but yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite? It's funny though. <laughs> Because now Flav's all big time again. And what you just got to be saying, everything that comes around comes back around. Exactly. Now the man's denigrating women. <laughs> Whatever's hip this week, my friend. Season's out of it. Absolutely, man. So uh, what's your favorite local band? Ha! Wow. I, you know what? I'm taking the political road in this. I have a lot of them, actually. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of good ones out there right now. I, don't, I really don't want to put a note on it because you put me on the spot like this. It's hard. I do it every time. And I'm going to say one or two bands and I'm going to forget about somebody else and I'm going to be like, so I plead the fifth on that one, man. I think my favorite local band is um, Agony Column. <laughs> I, you know what? Just for Dancer, I'd say it'd probably be my new, because I'm Nathan, I stuck it to you. I stuck it to you again. Yeah, it's good, man. Him and his pink, flaming pink guitar. Well, I'm, I, I'm liking a lot of the stuff I see on Red River, not to typicalize or categorize anything in particular, but I'm going to see uh, Sabbath Crow a lot. I'm going to see a lot of that. About them. I haven't had a chance to catch them out yet. I've heard great things about that band, though. I really want to see them. Good stuff. Mike, I appreciate you taking time. I know you got friends and neighbors to make happy. You're putting on a great big show tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, man. My time rocks. And Mike Boudreaux's the man, yo.
go. Oh. 